<laughs> What's going on guys? This is Swan with Liberty Graphic Designs and uh, I haven't been able to post any videos because uh, I've been working on my shop for the last two weeks. As some of you may know, I purchased uh, a couple of machines and that's what I've been doing, trying to set them up and uh, right now my shop is completely upside down. I still have to run some electrical wiring and I've been setting up this machine so I've been setting this one up the uh, this is the automatic I still gotta I still gotta do two more of the um, arms so I still gotta do number six and number seven but as you can see there's hardly any room in here so I moved I moved my embroidery machines over here and So right now, there's as you can see, there's no light. So I have to run a light right there. And then I have to run the wires. So you can see it right here. I have to run my wiring over there so I can put two more lights. Right now, I just got a little shop light, you know, for now. And then I got to run another wire. You can't see it, but I got to run another wire through there and connect or have another another connection but right here either here or here for for that right there for the power inverter so I I'm gonna run that dedicated just for that I'm gonna run a 220 that's what I'm gonna be doing today so I can so I can have both of these machines running because I got right now I got a lot of have a lot of embroidery to do so so I also gotta put some plywood in here I don't want any she rock so I'm gonna put some plywood and um, I'll probably do that Monday so but today I'm gonna be running some wires I gotta put um I gotta put a another breaker right here for a 220 so I can run those two embroidery machines so everything is off Everything is off right now. I mean, the machines are not running right now. I gotta get everything ready so I can move the the big oven. Oven. So I can move the the big conveyor right there, and that's the cruiser that I bought. Just like right now, moving all the boxes. So there's a cruiser and the automatic that I got. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. So I guess uh, let's start running some wires. It's nothing to it. It's really easy. I'm not an electrician, so just in case if I decide to post the wiring, you know when I'm doing all the wiring for the for the machines, I am not an electrician. Kind of know what I'm doing though, but again, I'm not an electrician. Oh, that's just perfect. So the guys that did the uh, spray foam, as you can see they cover where the wires go in. So now I gotta find the, uh, the pipe. Yeah, they shot the spray foam all the way in there. And it actually went inside the pipe which is not good for me so now I gotta push it in there so to my surprise it's actually working okay so that stop hopefully it went all the way inside Yeah, hopefully that went all the way inside into the breaker box. So, okay guys, again, I am not an electrician. So whenever you guys are working with electrical stuff, make sure you know what you're doing. 
Or better yet, hire an electrician. I'm crazy enough to do it by myself, so. And everything in here I done by myself, so I built this garage by myself. The only thing I paid for was the concrete slab. Because I hate working with concrete. But electrical, the framing, the sheetrock, everything else I did by myself. There you go. Here's our water. So you always always want to pull it and off to where you have enough. Because uh, I'm gonna be putting the breaker right here. Okay, so my battery actually went down, so I couldn't record the whole thing. Um, I already got the the plug in. Let me show you real quick. So it's already in. I already plugged it in. Um, that's a 220 and for some of you or for those of you that know electricity they're gonna say well that wire is too thin this is not pulling a lot of a lot of current so I'm just using a a 12.3 so that's ready to go and that's just a that's just a voltage regulator it comes in at 220 and it, it goes out uh, to uh, 110. So now I can have both of my machines running off of the same regulator. So see, that one's on, it's ready to go. See, that one's ready to go. This one's ready to go. So. What I was doing in the meantime, while the battery was charging, I built me this, this rack right here. Oh, <laughs> the paint's still fresh. Um, yeah, I built this, this rack because this is the backing that we use for these shirts. You know, like whenever we got to do embroidery. And I buy it in, in big rows. And I always, you know, it's like, it's not even straight, it's so crooked. Um, it's like, I was having it on the floor. It was getting dirty. So I was like, I'm gonna build me a rack. So that's what I did. And um, and that's what I was doing, so. So that rack ca comes in handy. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so now, whenever I gotta cut more backing, all I gotta do is just pull it down. Measure it, you know, cut it. Before I, I used to lay it on the table, but you know, you don't have enough room. And usually the rolls, they're usually not that big. They're usually like this big. Um, but if you buy your backing like, like this, you know, get you one of these. It's, it's very easy. And uh, I made this rack right here with different sizes on it, but it's just this, this, this roll is so big that I can only fit that one, but I made it to put all the different backings that I use. Because I buy, you know, like, like for example, that's a medium soft tear away, and I use a lot of cutaway, the ones for the hats. So um, I made that rack big enough to hold to hold four different rolls. But this one's oversized, so. So today is Saturday, and it's already 428. You can see the date right there. <laughs> I didn't check. October the 20th. So if I have enough time, this is the next thing I wanna do. So I wish I can set up that automatic today but it's a lot of work i'm not gonna have enough time for that i like to i like to bring my dryer in here the big one but i don't have time for that so if i do have enough time today 
let me show you what I want to do. You remember where I used to wash my screens in that tub? Well, I actually bought a, I bought a, um, I bought a washout booth used for 175 bucks. So there's my welder because I was, you know, like I said, I was cutting that, making that rack. That's what I was using. This is what I was using. Oh, this is what I was doing uh, yesterday. But here's the washout booth. Get on this side. Can't even see the sun, it's kind of bright. But here's a washout booth. I mean, it's just dirty, but it's in great shape. Look at that. It's by Chemical CCI. And that dude also, he's like, You want the squeegees? I said, Sure. So he just left the squeegees in there. There's a mats <laughs> old hose anyways all the stuff for the washout booth is in here that washout booth is currently at eight hundred dollars i believe and i was able to get it for 175 so that's perfect hey guys good morning uh it's now wednesday the 24th and let me kill this all so it's not it's not like a, like you see it's Wednesday the 24th I started the move last Wednesday and it's uh let me tell you it's been it's been uh it's been proven to be a um, a headache I had to take down walls literally take down walls uh, le let me let me show you around so this big old thing right here right it won't fit through the wall so I had to take it down I um, I actually went and got uh, I don't know if you can see it back over there <laughs> yeah there's no room see that compressor that sucker is huge man I got it yesterday I was in Dallas yesterday, so I picked that one up yesterday, and uh, I got obviously the 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 automatic there and the cruiser here. But as you can see, there's hardly any room. I have to literally squeeze squeeze right through there. I'm gonna have to move this embroidery over here a little more. I was gonna put all my shirts right here, but that's not gonna work. So, I mean, I got the embroidery machines working, or running, I should say. But, see, all my work is it's just piled up right here, right now, and it's driving me crazy. So, I got to hook up that big old compressor over there. I'll put it on that corner. So, this is what it looks like. This is where the press used to be at. Still a mess. And see, I had to take down this wall. So this wall had to come off because the the dryer wouldn't fit. So everything came off to make the dryer fit. And guys, everything in here is a mess. So I was able to put the I was able to put the uh, a washout washout booth in yesterday. But look, it's like literally no room. Um, I still gotta clean it. You know, the guy that sold it to me, he just left the squeegees here. Uh, so I have to clean the squeegees because uh, they're, they're good squeegees. He left the mats. And that's a good, uh, that's from uh, CCI. This is a good washout booth. So I still have to pipe it. I still got to run. I'm going to run a, a pipe from there to where the toilet used to be at. I don't know if you can see that's a pipe over there. That's where the tub used to run into. 
But before I do that, because this is new piping, I put a four inch pipe in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put a, some kind of filtration system right here. But for today, I'm just gonna hard pipe it into that drain because I, I need to burn. I need to burn some screens. So that's what I've been doing for the past. Um, I want to say about a week and a half. It's just moving because I just said last not not this past th Thursday Was a yeah, not this past Thursday, but the last Thursday. That's when I bought that big machine. That's when I bought the um, the auto and uh, all of that stuff so For the last week and a half. This is what I've been doing You know, and then I gotta stop because I, I I gotta I gotta work, right? so I'm finishing up a bunch of embroidery uh, a bunch of embroidery work so guys if you like this video I know this is just a big mess right now so but if you like the video <laughs> go ahead and give it a little thumbs up if you haven't subscribed guys please do so uh, thank you for uh, being so supportive until today I know you're gonna be there for the for you know for the rest of this ride so thank you guys you guys are the ones that are actually been making this possible and your comments your your likes you know, you watching the video, that's what motivates us, not just me, but that's what motivates everybody that makes videos to continue making videos. So uh, please give us, you know, not just limited graphic designs, not just me. Don't just give me a like, you know, go to, go to other channels, you know. So yeah, guys, I mean, those likes are what keeps us motivated to keep making these videos. And... Don't forget to just, you know, just hit the little like bu uh, button. It doesn't take anything. All you gotta do is just click it and that's it. And that's what's gonna motivate us to continue making those videos. So please subscribe. Please hit the little like button. Hit the, the bell so you're notified whenever we upload new videos. And when I say we, I'm not just speaking for myself. I'm not just speaking for, um, I'm not just speaking for, uh, um, uh, Liberty graphic designs. I'm also speaking for for uh, the grind the uh, the daily grind with uh, Ryan beats, you know go watch them, you know um, Mikey designs uh, big Brandon, you know uh, the print life the t-shirt chick You know all those channels, you know, there's there's a lot more, you know, I, I cannot name them all um, My mind is not that <laughs> broad so but you know, go go watch them, and you know, and, and just just hit the little like button, drop us a little comment. Again, when I say we, I'm referring to all the people that make these videos, because that's what motivates us to keep making videos. Uh, drop us a little line if you want to see something that uh, that you like us to do. Um, so, with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for being so supportive. It, like always, man, this is a this is a pleasure making these videos for you guys. Um, and I'm gonna continue on making them. So if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and ding that little bell Okay, don't forget to hit like thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one